Hello friends, Happy New Year. Welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It is wonderful to see all of you. It is a new season. It's a new year. It means it's new teas, new pins, and what a better way to show that off than taking on this week's event, both home and commercially. It's the reverse round new tea. So we are kicking things off of Missouri Hills number 18. A little bit more of a straight on look. Now, Again, uh, those of you that have already been playing some games here and there might have seen some of these tees and have thoughts and opinions and everything, but um, just know that this one video that you are seeing with me showing off the previews is not going to be every single preview that you see of these new tees. Okay, also apparently my TV remote doesn't want to work, so we're just going to roll with it. Now, Bonnie Moore Black still have that dangerous sand trap in the middle of the green, but you're going to have a slightly different look at it. This one, although right 11, a very clean look. Probably not as clean as some of um, you guys are seeing out there, for better or for worse. That is probably a hole that is going to stay difficult no matter where the, the tees or the pins are at, uh, whether it's this season or next season. Now, some of these holes do get a bit easier, like number 16 from Manhattan View. Thankfully for me, who is playing terribly late lately, uh, although Player of the Year treated me well, I will say that, but somebody who has normally been playing terrible lately, um, I will take some of those easier looks, but a lot of you guys, it will make uh, contest a bit more challenging. This hole right now, South Pacific, number 15. You don't see a ton of change right here. This is one of those that might not vary too much. Can we get a good bounce to help my terrible play? Oh, almost. I don't know why I hit the three one. I just haven't seen you guys in a while. I figured, screw it. Let's just try some new things that are most likely not going to work. But we'll have at it. We are uh, already at the 9th of January. The next National Golden Tee Tournament coming up. The very first one of 2024. It is in Florida. A beautiful location. A wonderful host for many, many years. PEGTTour.com, GoldenTee.com for more information on that. As we go to hole 14 of Scablands. A bit different look there for that par 3. Nothing too terrible, though. <clears throat> now, hole six, a par five that is now a semi-drivable par four uh, on Missouri. This is a tough one. You have a lot of trees in play. Um, you also have this nice little lake of water and some sand. So I am using the grabbers. I'm going to try to do a big... A2. Now the problem which I knew I was going to run into is those trees. And because you're coming left to right, you've got a chance if you catch those trees that you are also going to catch water. <clears throat> but we'll just hold it out for birdie, I guess, better than nothing. If I'm going to get my butt kicked in Golden Tee after putting a shot in the water, I might as well at least hold it out from the rough for birdie. So we will take it. We will run with it. As we move on to hole 7, which is hole 13 from Bonnie Moore Black. Actually, my numbers are probably off. This is actually, I think, hole 12 from Bonnie Moore Black. Uh, some of you guys know my math has never been great. It's better than my golden tee, at least right now. Highly, highly suggest you don't take that three hybrid into uh, the sand trap. Well, well, well. Nice work. Golden Tee.com slash locations. Find a PGA Tour or Golden Tee Live game that is updated to 23-24 near you. Hole number 11 here of Manhattan. 
takes trees right out of play. It becomes a very simple yet non-drivable par four. Pull outs are going to be your friend on this. Now, I have seen this picture on social, and uh, honestly, I'm very thankful. This is um, this is a nice, drivable par 4 that used to be a par 5. A soft shot with backspin's probably not going to do it. That was horrible. And if I didn't have to get out of here before the snow gets worse in Chicago, I would restart the video because, man, that just... ah. Uh, Pisses me off. That was such a bad shot. Should have just hit it harder with bite. But after nine holes, we are now back. We're going to ignore the score in the front. We're going to just punch this shot here out on scab. Still say it stays a par five, which is nice. We're going to try to slide this three bird in there for a double eagle to make up some strokes. Is not the case. But I will take the eagle. I will be happy with it. You get to Missouri. For somebody like me who has a G wedge, this is kind of tough. Because I don't want to use backspin because I don't want this to shoot off the green. But I also don't want to have to worry about hitting that shot too hard. That is why you saw me hit it out all the way to the, the one, and that was a terrible putt. Holy crap. Classic Kevin is back for the new year. And then we get to a nice fun shot on Bonnie Moore. A little par three action. Getting a little ballsy there with no spin. Hitting the fringe. Now, the nice thing is that your hole out chances on this hole are probably going to go up because you're taking, at least with this pin, you're not in the T. You're taking a lot of that, that shrubbery out of the way, a lot of the crap out of the way. And then, not a ton of change here on Manhattan. But you're probably going to see a lot more pins that are far away from that tiered green. At least that's just my guess for somebody who's gotten... Um, Bad shots. I've hit bad shots. I haven't gotten them. I've just hit bad shots because of that tier green. I'll be okay with that. Another par three here. South Pacific. Back with the lava. So you tell scores a uh, lot better than mine. But again, haven't played a ton lately. It's it's a little refreshing. This one is probably one of the biggest changes. Uh, nice par three coming up. Be interesting to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you changing your clubs? Uh, are you changing the golf balls that you're using in certain instances because of it? Or are you just sticking with what you know and, and seeing how it goes? Again, another hole that has changed drastically and at least for me, is causing me to come in from left to right, uh, which is fine because of that massive win. I mean, I ended up with GSPs, which, uh, if it was a little farther, didn't even think about the total distance. And then we get to hole two of Bonnie Moore Black. A very, very different look. This one is actually nice, at least with this supporting win. Because for me, I'm just going to go hot and heavy with the big C3, knowing that that 12 mile hour wind is going to keep my ball to the right, so I don't have to worry about it getting too far left with the, the mud and the dirt and the crap. 61 foot putt, he's going to miss it, yes he is, but that is just user error more than anything. Hey, at least I'm going to potentially finish fifth, or 18 after 18. Manhattan View, number one. Not drivable, but at least with this setup here in this game, potentially get that pretty damn close. Actually, that's much closer than I thought it would be. 
Now, you have a flat green of hole one, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, uh, at least for some of you, myself included, to keep that chip straight again, speaking it into existence. But there you have it, a very quick preview of 18 different holes. This week's event, reverse round, new tees, goldentee.com slash locations. Find a game near you. Get at it. Enjoy yourself. Let us know your feedback at goldentee, goldentee.com, and we will see you guys again very soon.